Hey, what is up everyone? It's Ridge. Alright, so I'm doing a 10 minutes with Neil Adams today. It wasn't the original plan, but a friend of mine texted me a few minutes ago. And uh, I heard that Neil Adams passed away. I'm pretty upset about it, honestly. Um, surprisingly more than I would have thought. But uh, he really is legendary in the comics field. Um, he's um, highly influential. His stuff is so dynamic. Um, a couple of my friends came up through Neil Adams. Richard Bennett and Aaron Weisenfeld both came up um, into continuity and work there for a little bit. And um, I I think maybe I briefly met Neil Adams. I did ink a piece um, of his work one time, but it wasn't over his pencils. It was over a blue line. Um, and um, he had done a bunch of variant covers for DC. And they were um, uh, homages to his own pieces that he had done with different characters. I'll, I'll try to find it. I, I didn't have time to look for it right now. But anyway, so rest in peace, Neil Adams. I've This probably will go over a little bit. I'm going to try to keep it about 15 minutes if I can do it. And um, I grabbed some really great stuff. And uh, let's just enjoy his art and try to remember um, his awesomeness. So... Maybe people that know Neil's work and the era that a lot of this stuff was done can let me know. Um, so there's a couple of pieces in here that, that I feel influenced Bernie Wrightson. This this one wasn't one of them that came to mind immediately. But um, I I don't know which, which way it went. If Wrightson's work influenced Neil or if vice versa or they were just kind of simultaneously doing things that were similar. But let me know. There's another piece in particular that I'll show you that I'm nearly sure that uh, Bernie Wrightson did a piece very similar to the shot, but this is just great. Um, it really is phenomenal. Man, and his his figures are so dynamic. It's interesting because on Patreon, one of the things that we're going to start to tackle next month is uh, more dynamic figures. How, how to make your figures just really have life and attitude and... The heroes look heroic, and the you know just everybody is looking cool at their coolest. And uh, Neil really had it down. It's a very subtle thing. I took a screenshot of this because um, it was a weird file, but uh, this is a, a kiss piece that he did for Destroyer. It said, or oh, it just says Destroy. Um, but uh, I I had never really seen this before. But this is pretty cool. I'm I'm a big Kiss fan, so as a Kiss nerd. This uh, hits all the right notes. His Muhammad Ali, or yeah, Muhammad Ali versus Superman book. I have a big Marvel treasury of that. Um, and they did a reprint of it, not maybe 10, 12 years ago. That was really nice, too. This is great. It's really fun. <laughs> he, he didn't know how to draw Ace's guitar. Their guitars are funny. That's funny. He just kind of gave them futuristic looking guitars. Oh, okay, I had it twice. All right, this is one of my. This is a favorite page of mine. I've actually, I've definitely shown this in other videos. I'm, I'm nearly sure that I've done long videos on Neil, and if not, I must have done something where I, I went over some of his work. I, I, this has always been just a favorite page of mine. There's something about it that I just really love. The, um, the trees, Batman, the sort of mast of the ship, um, in the background. It's just really, really cool. But again, you're never you're never really gonna see boring poses with Neil's work. That's that's the main thing is his stuff just was never dull. I mean, I mean, definitely Jim Lee and Sylvester, just to name two. Um, I found this online. I didn't get this at Read Comics. It was just it was a JPEG um, uh, from Yandex. This is really cool though. Yeah, that's really really nice. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, either Wright, Wrightson and Neil were just doing some similar stuff or whatever. But man, look, look you, you think so too, Kitty? Okay. Um, the girls are really pretty too. He does beautiful women. Um, and his heroes are always just ripped. And people were doing exciting things. He was a full on illustrator, he had all the chops. He knew, he really, really knew it is. I grabbed two photos of him, one when he was young and then one when he's, you know, more current age. Oh, let me show you this. My neighbor must be in the backyard. The dog always starts to talk to her. Yeah, real handsome guy, too, honestly. There he is. 
Ah, oh, man. I'm so bummed that you won't be at Comic-Con. Sucks. It's like... There's like icons that you just see when you go through. And Neil in his blue shirt is just... It's like... It's just part of the show. You're like, there's a legend. He's such a badass. I've heard he can be a tough cookie. Like, with reviews and stuff like that. Sometimes that's what you want, though. You know, you want someone that's going to be honest and tell you um, that, you know, if you need to work on something, you you really do. You should want to hear it. <laughs> Might sting a little, but... but uh, Yeah, I mean, what they say, the truth hurts, but... <laughs> He knows what he's looking at, though. That's the thing. If he tells you you should work on something, 99% nine, of the time, I'm sure he's right on the point. Just doesn't do it with the gentlest. This is cool. Yeah, some of these... I did go to Heritage to get some big scans. I just wanted to make sure I had some really, like, in-your-face stuff, too. Because uh, with Google, sometimes, you know, you kind of... It's a little random. I, I knew with, with Heritage I'd at least have some good, nice big scans. What's interesting about Neil, too, and this is this is a rare feat that, that not everyone's able to do. He's so good that really almost every run that he's done on a book is like an iconic run. That You can't say that about a ton of pencilers, but at any book that he touched, you just go, oh man, he, he owned that. He owned that one too. Oh yeah, and he owned that one and that one and <laughs> I really enjoyed the continuity stuff. Um I went back and bought all the back issues, not all, but as many as I could find a lot of the continuity stuff. He didn't draw every single book, but um was his company and uh, they pr they published a lot of good stuff and the Neil did do do pieces for them too. This is Tom Palmer inks on this, which is a pretty interesting combination. But it, you could see that it, it doesn't, it, like, it actually kind of changes the way that Neil's stuff looks a little bit. I was so bummed when I heard this. I was like, uh, this made me sick to my stomach. Neil is one of those artists that I I generally will revisit his stuff at least once a year. Where where like for me, I know the value of it, and I and I know that it's really like gonna be beneficial for me. So at least once a year, I will have like a night or two where I pour over a lot of like Neil Adams' work, and then I kind of let it marinate. I thought this was really interesting. It's really cool. And I don't know what the circumstances were that there ended up being two pieces, front cover, back cover, possibly. Maybe someone knows. Um, or, I don't know. Did they do variant covers back back the, at this time? Look at this. This is pretty cool. The Phantom Stranger. Run, dude. You've got to run, 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 run. This was cool. Nice Doctor Strange. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this Frank Bruner? What? That's weird. It was credited as Neil. Hmm. I don't know. Did I get this off Heritage? I got off Heritage. I swear it said Neil Adams. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know on that one. This looks like Neil to me. I don't know. Maybe he did the inks on it or something. I'm not sure. Look at these figures, man. Who draws stuff like this? I mean, it's just, you don't see a lot of people flexing these types of shots, even to this day, because it's, it's hard to do, you know? I'm sure there'll be some really interesting tributes to him online of people that, uh... It's interesting, this is signed by Jack Kirby. Look at that, man. A little photo in the background. Kind of a Jack Kirby thing. <laughs> Jack would occasionally use photos. Look at this. 
Todd Todd McFarlane would use it occasionally too. I definitely I I think Todd was definitely a big Neil Adams fan at some point because I I remember in some of his sketchbooks him doing like Neil Adams uh, copies, like the Devils in the Details book or something like that. It's really really cool. Oh man, yeah, this is awesome. D Daughter of Dracula. The rendering is just so, like, I mean, Kevin Nolan, Silvestri, so many people use this, these ideas. That's really cool. Um, yeah, I was, I was going to do um, an artist that I didn't know today. I, I was, uh, one of my patrons had recommended an artist, and I was like, that would be cool, like, I'm doing, they get a pick two, or one a week. One one every week will be picked from a Patreon recommendation is what I'm doing. This was the piece that, Bernie Wrightson's got a piece of, uh, it might be Mambat running. It was kind of similar to this. It's not like, it's not like an exact version of it, um, but uh, it reminded me of it. It's funny because the, the face on Mambat looks a little like Neil in a weird way. I have this comic. I actually have two copies of it. This is a pretty valuable back issue. I just got lucky and got them in collections that I bought. I don't know if it was the same collection or if it was in two different ones. Must have been a hot book at the time. That's how you kind of, like, some of those will float around, like, more common if you buy, like, a, a, someone that collected it at a certain period. This is cool. One of the very, very first sample pages that I did was a Neil Adams Tarzan. I couldn't find the pencils online. It's similar to this, actually. Um, but it was a penciled piece, and I inked it. And it's a real funny story because... I didn't know anything about inking at the time. I had never done test pages or samples. Um, I just had been able to draw with a rapidograph. So I literally took the photocopy and copied everything on it. Like if there was a smear from the photocopier, I did it with like stipple. And then I showed it to a professional inker and they were they were laughing. Because <laughs> I, I just copied everything. Every single little smudge, pixel. <laughs> Oh, to be young and foolish. <laughs> the inks weren't very good either. It's detailed, but um, not good detail. <laughs> so Neil's kind of been with me my whole career in a weird way. I know Scott Williams really loved the Dead Man stuff. I, I always wanted... I think there's a Dead Man kind of artist edition. I think Scott had it, and he really liked it. There's upshots, too. Neil, like, again, very very Neil Adams pose. But, man, he picked a crazy um, angle for Batman's head. And that's a tricky shot to draw. This is nice, too. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. This was cool to let me lighten this just a little bit. It was a little dark, but it was a nice big scan, so that way we'll be able to see it a little better. Love this shot. Keeping the camera low. Cool angle of the door. God, man, I'm so bummed that this dude passed away. It really, really sucks. He just... He had just posted that he was doing a bunch of sketch covers the other day, and, um, you know, it's just so weird. It's like, what happened, man? Damn it. So it's cool. I think he did remarks of these. I'm not, I'm not positive who colored this, but, but Neil will do stuff like that where he'll revisit old pieces that he did. So he may have, it looks to me, it looks like it's signed in paint by Neil. Neil may have made black and white prints of these and then just did quick watercolor, um, uh, like remarks almost um, which is actually a very cool idea and something that if you're an artist um, you've had some success with a piece I mean it's an interesting idea Frazetta did it with um, 
it's like a piece of like kind of like Neanderthal guys, like on a like a hillside and kind of rocky outcrop. Uh, but but he hand watercolored a bunch of them. This is cool. Again, kind of looks like Neil. All right, no, that's the end of that. So okay, rest in peace, Neil Adams. I'm not. I mean, there was a part of me, the jaded part, that knows that, you know, like like. I, I don't want people to think that I'm trying to, like, cash in on this guy's death. He's a legend, and he deserved a tribute video today. And it would just be... It, it's weirder for me to just pretend like it didn't happen and just post, like, a random video. So this was the right thing to do, but I just don't want anyone to think that that's, like, a YouTuber cashing in on, like, a you know, person's uh, death. He's got kids. I believe his wife is still alive. I mean, it just sucks. And everybody in comics that was a fan is just going to be bummed out. So hopefully, hopefully there's just some awesome tributes. I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of kick-ass Neil Adams art over the next few days as people share things. So, all right, you guys have a great day. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for Super Fun Sunday. I'm, I'm kicking around some ideas, but if you have any recommendations, let me know. I'm going to shoot it tomorrow. Um, so, uh, yeah, let me know soon. <laughs> All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Be, be safe out there. Healthy. 